Well now, this is the satellite, then of course uh, it's a quite a simple satellite, we're using an indoor satellite for this display right now. And this is the television that we are using to actually connect the satellite to. At the bottom here, let's just move the camera down, we can see our black box. This is a makeshift black box out of just a manila cardboard for the time being. And inside this black box are uh, things that we mentioned earlier, the repeater, uh, the TV, um, controller and things like that, especially the goal is with the satellite. Now here you can actually see how the black box is being connected to the television through an AV cable. We can also use component cable. We do have component cables ready for the black box. At the moment we have not installed in the satellite yet. Let's... I'll tell you what. Uh, the, the satellite is being installed using USB due to the... Uh, that's a bit of disturbance due to the fact that the Go dongle is a USB based uh, dongle. Of course we're going to try and install the satellite now. Now this is the screen of the TV after we have installed in the satellite and this is just a simple program. Uh, it's a free source program by SourceForge. It has not been modified yet to actually accept or do internet browsing, but at the moment here we have videos, music, playlists. Um, you can actually also see your pictures if we are going to install a hard disk into it. You can connect to internet radio, you can check the weather, um, things like that. It's it's quite a simple screen. Let's just see some certain things that it can do. Now all this will actually be in the black box. Currently it's already in the black box, but it's running on a very simple uh, CPU that we have actually pulled out from a computer and that's the reason why we need a TV converter. Well, okay. Let us check now on the speed of the internet after installing the satellite. I think that's most important. <laughs> 